everyone, it's Kristen and Bob. Hi guys. With um, Shop Talk. Shop Talk, yeah, that's what we're doing, Shop Talk. I'm sitting in for Dad today. I'll try to be lively like him. That's ought to be fun. <laughs> All right, what are we talking about today? So we thought we'd talk about software, just kind of uh, you and I, uh, Kristen and I have a difference of opinion we on do. pretty much everything, we but do. software included. So. Uh, uh, she's very talented in a different way than I am, so uh, it, we really complement each other if we're not choking each other. So, uh, <laughs> so we're just going to talk about some software today. So let's first just talk about uh, 2D versus 3D, right? Yes. So, all right. So uh, a lot of people get confused by this, and, and if if you're looking at an E3 or an E4, if you have one, and you're looking at software, uh, maybe this will help out because. Uh, there's differences in software. Some of it's free, and then some of it's you know really expensive. And believe it or not, you know the most expensive software we uh, sell is by Vetric Aspire. Yes. It's like two thousand dollars. That's not even really close to expensive out there in the real world. Really? I mean, you can spend like twenty and thirty thousand dollars for software packages. Would not recommend that for the E3 <laughs> or the E4. As a matter of fact, uh, we're just going to talk about this today to try to uh, help you out, and maybe uh, give you a better choice. So, first of all, the difference between between uh, 2.5D and 3D. Now, Kristen and I have talked about this a little bit, but here what we have is a 3D relief carving, and here you have a 2.5D, or what we would call, and Kristen looked at me and she said, Bob, that is 3D, and you know, I can't argue with that. It is 3D. So how do you explain what 2.5D means versus 3D? Because it's gonna be important when we talk about software. It is. And this is the way I'm gonna try to do it. So on a three-axis machine, you have your X and Y, which is moving around the surface and the Z which is moving up and down. So if it's a two and a half D that means that the Z moves into position and then you move the X, Y and around. So you can cut out shapes and then stick them together like uh, uh, Greg has done in this, right? Or uh, like with a laser you can you know engrave or you could actually cut out shapes, right? But the Z height is fixed during the cut. Okay, now, does that make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. All right, it makes sense to Kristen, we're good. Woohoo! All right, so 3D relief carving, like Chell made for us, is a little bit different. It's, uh, Kristen called it a contour Yeah, I cut, think it kind of, yeah. Right, it, the official name I think is relief carving, but what it means is as the X and Y are moving along the cut, the Z can also make adjustments, so therefore you can contour cut as you're moving along. So this is called 3D re relief carving. So why does that really matter? Because it matters because of the program you use. Yeah, the software. So here's the bottom line, if we were going to cut right to the chase, is uh, the free software will do 2.5D uh, to do 3D. Um, there may be some software out there that could do it. Uh, I think, yeah, there is. Fusion 360 um, will do 3D relief carving for, for free, uh, kind of. Uh, just read all of the details. So let's just uh, go through the next slide, and first of all, and let's talk about uh, the G-code sender. So this is kind of like out of place, but I wanted to touch base really quick. Uh, once you make your G-code file or your toolpath file with your CAD and CAM that we're going to talk about, you're going to need some way to send it. We recommend Universal G-code sender. There's a lot other uh, softwares mm -hmm. that will do this for gerbil firmware. We just don't support them. We think this is the best choice. Right, and this is the one that we know. Uh, if you want to explore some of those other ones, please feel free. If you want to get some troubleshooting uh, help from me, please use Universal <laughs> G Code Sender, or you know, or I'll do the best that I can. So enough of that. All right, so let's talk about CAD CAM. So what's your favorite? Uh, Patrick. Patrick, why is that your favorite? Because for me, it works the way my brain works. Versus, oh my. Yeah, I know. it works the way her brain works. So I use Photoshop a lot. Okay. So for me, Vetric is kind of intuitive along that, those lines. Okay. So I like it. So when you first got it, uh, for you, it was easy to work through. Yeah, there was still stuff I had to learn. There was, you know, there was mistakes I made because with anything, you're going to make mistakes. With some people, you make more mistakes. That's me. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I. 
I really enjoy it. I don't know if she actually makes more mistakes. I think I got her covered there. I mean, okay, so my favorite software is, is Estelcam. Uh, partly because I'm cheap, right? It's like $60. But it does everything that I need to do. Now, to be clear, what I need to do normally is 2.5D right and uh, it cuts out shapes it'll cut on the inside of the line the outside of the line on the line and it has some features in it that make it great for let's say if you were designing CNC routers right I have uh, I, I've tried uh, Vetric software and it's good software I can see where you say that it's intuitive but it doesn't work the way I think yeah. so I'm always like ah, right <laughs> trying to but uh, by far uh, most of our customers would agree with Kristen so I'm gonna say that she's right on this one <laughs> yeah That's so like the, uh, the Vetric software is is really the most popular software out there uh, the other problem that we have with that though is it's only for PC yes right so if you have a Mac yeah uh, don't work with that right. so uh, we did talk about uh, uh, Fusion 360 Fusion 360 is really an engineer type of CAM program. So if you're like me and you think engineering wise, uh, it's probably gonna be easier to learn. If you're like Kristen, and I'm gonna call her an artist, you know, brain type, <laughs> right? Which doesn't work the way that mine does. Sometimes you could, never mind, I'm not gonna go there. But uh, if you're an artist type, then the Vetric, uh, is going to be the best thing for you and you'll probably struggle with Fusion 360 because it's really engineering based. However, they do have good tutorials, but again, uh, it's free for hobbyists and even entrepreneurs, but uh, read the, the small print. Okay, so uh, let's talk about some of the free ones though. All right. Okay, so what's your favorite free one? Probably ESOL, it's pretty easy. Yeah, ESOL is a good program. Uh, the one thing that we always tell people, uh, as a matter of fact, some of our customers try to put it on Facebook every once in a while too, don't connect to ESOL. Right. If you do, you'll have to reset the firmware. There's a, a video on how to do that. It's really uh, pretty easy. But, uh, but ESOL is a good program. I really like F Engrave. Uh, it's not really good if you're going to do sizes and stuff. Right. But the one feature that it has that's really cool for a free software is called V Carving, not to be confused with the software. But what that means, it really is good for cutting out stars or doing like a calligraphy type of font because it will actually adjust the bit height based on the width of the line that's it's that's in the uh the cad program so uh the way your dad would explain it is it's like uh, train tracks and if you have a v bit and the tracks get closer the v bit is forced up yeah so it's actually the opposite of that where the the bit is calculated you uh how wide the line is is, is how deep it is so it's, the deeper it goes the wider it cuts so um, the f engrave software is fantastic for that type of work it's not very good for cutting out shapes it doesn't have like tabs in it or those things but like you said with easel uh that that actually has uh, pretty good for two and a half D it does. yes it does. so some of the other ones out there uh, i actually have an old copy of mesh cam uh really like it for uh, 3d shapes um, my copy is old and outdated so uh, i'm sure the new one's a lot faster but i find it a little bit slow um, carbide create uh, theirs you can actually download also can use for a mac uh, it's kind of on the same lines as easel uh, um, has some of the same features uh, that is also a good one to use uh, there's also one that's not really popular it's not free it's heeks cad it will do 3d 2d again steep learning curve but it's only uh the last i checked i think it was under 20 bucks oh, so so yeah you can try that one out and uh for that matter you could just go out and type in uh cad cam or cam these this is just a few of them that i'm familiar with there's a lot more out there I would also suggest, um, like Vetric, and I know Estelcam have a free version that people can download mm -hmm. and try. Before you get into this and you spend money, try absolutely try them and find out which one works best for you because you might not need Vetric. It, you know. As a matter of fact, if you're looking at this and you're just thinking about getting into CNC, this is by far the hardest part of the I CNC. Project so download it before you even buy a CNC machine and, and see if you can make a G code file. So there's other things that we can do though once we make a toolpath, right? Yes. yes. So you can explore your toolpath. You can even edit it. Uh, a a toolpath file is really a text file. 
So uh, if you learned, not not Kristen, because she doesn't speak math, <laughs> but for you people no. that speak math and understand coordinate systems, you can actually write G-code by hand, and we actually had a few videos on how to do that. But you can also use like an ncviewer.com, NC corrector. There's several of them out there, or you can actually use the Universal G Code Center uh, to view your G Code. And you can actually edit that code and watch the lines move around or the toolpaths move around uh, on the screen so that you can see what it's actually doing. So uh, that's kind of our overview on software. Do you have anything that you'd like to add to that? No, I think that was pretty good. Wow, we were pretty good, guys. All right, so uh, until next time. Oh, no, we have to say that. Oh, we can't say that yet. What are we saying? If you have any questions, uh, drop us a line at shoptalk at bobcnc.com. What she said. Till next time, guys. See you guys. Thanks.